So Will and I were flying from New York to uh, Nashville about six months ago, and I was on a connecting flight from Chicago to uh, to Nashville. We went from New York, Chicago, Chicago, Nashville. And on this flight, I'm sitting, I'm sitting in the aisle seat, and the guy next to me is also sitting in the aisle seat. I'm not going to say his name. He and, we ended up talking. He does a lot of entrepreneurial stuff, works with guys like Tony Robbins and allegedly Mark Wahlberg, uh, allegedly, and uh, Pitbull, allegedly. So after the flight, he's like, hey, can I get your number? Usually I don't like giving out my number to people because I don't know the, the credibility or, 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 you know, just I don't like giving out my number. Anyway, so like a few months goes by and this guy's like, hey, this guy named Kyle is having a birthday party in Cabo. He's spending seven figures on his birthday. You should come. You should meet these guys. It'll be a great networking opportunity for you. So I decide that I'm not going to go. I've been traveling a whole bunch. Spring tour just finished. I need some time with my family and stuff like that. I tell my wife. My wife looks at me like I'm a fucking idiot and goes, you need to go on this trip. Go get coffee with this guy. So I go sit down with the individual. We have coffee at the well by Lipscomb. And he's like, hey, this fucking, this is going to be a wild event. There's going to be people here that from a networking standpoint that are like, we're talking about three commas in the bank account type guys. So he's like, you need to go. So I, I essentially went on a blind date for 48 hours to Cabo San Lucas. Stayed at the Cape, beautiful place. Nice little hotel. They had a nice little infinity pool looking over the ocean. It was cool. I, met, I got to meet these guys that are um, just well-rounded dudes, like, like down-to-earth guys that um, just also do really well in business. So I had the opportunity to meet with them, and hopefully, you know, if something happens in the future with them, we'll see. We'll see where that goes. But I ended up going to this birthday party. It ends up not being Kyle's birthday party. It ends up being his brother Kevin's birthday party. Now, um, the family is the Washington family, if you want to go and look them up. Kyle Washington. George Washington. And Kevin Washington. No, I don't think there's any relation to George Washington. There is... The Washington family. What I'm told is that this birthday party was anywhere between $2.5 and $5 million. There's an area in Cabo called Chilino Bay. On one side near the water, there's a bunch of nice restaurants, um, like clubs and hotels, and on the other side of the highway is desert for forever. Now, they decided to make a party in this desert. I walked in. They imported grass. There's grass imported. There was a, a drone show, which I'll give you guys clips of this show. It was, it was incredible. This guy, Kevin, owns the most complete Tyrannosaurus Rex in the world. What? Yes. So, like, the drone show was, like, it was like drones doing this cool, this cool shit. Then all of a sudden, they made a figure of a T-Rex. And then out of the T-Rex came a dollar sign, and the T-Rex eats the dollar sign. It was crazy. Oh, now, I thought we were talking about, like, bones. You know, like a no. display of a Tyrannosaurus no, yeah, yeah. Rex. No, no, no. He, that's what he, he owns that. Like Jurassic Park. Like, like, a real, like a real Tyrannosaurus, like a real dinosaur, the bones put together. He, he owns the most complete one in the world. They have like, that's insane. They have, like, the second largest Bitcoin mining company in the entire world. Like, it was just... It was crazy. You're sitting there. And so I'm walking, but like, it was a cool party. Probably 300 people there at this party. And there were some big fucking names there. Um, but it was very LA. How big? Name drop. Name drop. Um, a guy named Bill Gates. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. He was at that Billy party. Billy G? Billy G was at that party. Went up to him, shook his hand. Did you ask if his real name's William? No, I didn't ask him that. I literally shook his hand, said, hello, my name's Taylor. And I, I walked away. Bust with the boys. Because he scares me a little bit. He's too rich. <laughs> And then uh, I fucking, I go towards uh, the back, to the back right corner, there's like a little bar setup area. And there's, listen, let's call it a spade a spade. There were some beautiful, beautiful people at this party. And I'm like, you know, when we're out, I'm out there socializing, going around, talking to, <laughs> talking to a bunch of people, a group of people. And I would literally go up to these people, and but hey, what's up? Where are you guys from? And the cold shoulders you would get. Like, really? It was very LA. It was very like, if you're not, if we don't know exactly who you are, we don't want to talk to you. And that was, I was like, man, this is, it wasn't necessarily for me, but go to the bar and I see this figure that's like as tall, a little bit shorter than me, but like his head sticking out, like my head sticking out. And I look over, it's Vince Vaughn. Mm. Vince White fucking oil. Vaughn is at this part. And I think to myself, do I fucking even say anything to this man? Please tell me he's coming on bussing. So there, I look over, I'm, I grab a drink at the bar and I look over, there's like 15 people talking to Vince. And like, it's not like 15 people are talking with Vince. People are all sitting there waiting for their opportunity to talk to Vince. Like he's standing here, they're all kind of horseshoed around him, looking at him, looking for the next available chance to say a word to him. So I think to myself, there's no way I'm getting into that mix. Like if an opportunity comes up, it comes up. I get to there, the, I'm at the party at like 10.30, it's like 12.15. I'm like, I need to go home. I'm going to get in a flight in the morning. I have to go to Arizona for a couple of meetings. So... I uh I start I go wait and the the people are like hey cars are gonna take about fifteen minutes 
and it's fuming in the back of my head, like, fuck. Vince Vaughn, like, and I've been around him one time before. Uh, the Preds were playing the Blackhawks, and he was at the arena, and I was with some guy from CA, and he was walking by as I was walking by, and I looked over, I was like, fucking Vince Vaughn. He's like, do you want to meet him? And I said, no, because I don't want to impose and be like that fucking guy. But here I am sitting here waiting for this bus. In line. In line, I'm like, man, fuck this. So I walk back. He ends up being with, like, three other people, three other guys. One guy is a guy that I met. He and I were talking during the little drone show. We, he was actually enjoyable to be around. So I walk up, and that's kind of like my way in. I put my hand on the guy's shoulder. I was like, hey, brother, blah, blah, blah. Like, kind of picked up where we left off in the last conversation. I look up. I see Vince Vaughn. I go, hey, man, just want to let you know. My name's Taylor. I'm a big fan of you. I've been watching you my whole life. I love what you do. He looks me right in the eyes, and he goes, hey, man, it was re- really nice to meet you. As soon as our hands leave each other, his two boys in the left and right of him, no joke, turn their backs to me, put their shoulders together, and escort him away from me. It was the weirdest most uncomfortable experience no. ever. I was like, yo, I just, I just, uh, all right. <laughs> Next I guess time. I'll, I guess I'll go then. I didn't say nothing else. So I went back to the bus and I was fucking rattled. But I was like, what, what is that about, dude? What was that? And I texted you the next morning. And I was like, weirdest experience of my life. I said, I can't wait to hear. And here we are. I know. Hurt. I know. That is tough, man. Like, that's a. It was a weird deal. Like, what? Like what? He didn't do nothing. He was nice. But... I think his boys, like, you know, you talked about all those people horseshoed around him. Like, I'm sure that's Vince Vaughn's life everywhere. Like, a lot of those yeah. A-listers. Got to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm not willing to allow my hero to. Yeah. Like. Like, maybe Vince fucks with it, right? But maybe his boys, like, they might have no clue, and they just hear the, oh, somebody who's watched him his whole life, he's probably loves him. Like, this is the drill that Vince is probably, we've all talked about. Yeah. I was, I was big time. But I'm going to say by his boys, not by him. And one thing, too, when I was at the bar, I looked at him, and he was looking at me. And there was a couple times where, like, I would look over, and he was looking. <laughs> and I'm like, are, you, are we boys? Are we trying to talk? You trying to hang out? Because I'm trying to hang out, brother. I'm trying to be boys with you. I almost wonder if, like, if you took a Steve Byrne angle, like, if that would have worked. I know, but you you know, name dropping's tough. I should have. Yeah, but Steve's, like, from Obviously, Steve, dude, whatever. Steve, like, they're, like, really good friends. Like, if somebody was talking to me and I had no clue who they were and they t- brought you up, like, there's such a common yeah. friend there because, yeah. you know, you're my boy. Maybe. To where it's like, oh, you know Taylor, you know JP, yeah. or something like that, and you're like almost ready to hit it off about something else. <laughs> Sorry, JP, who I li- who I looked at, like I've had I've had people come up, Woof. right? Like where you call, you know, you've had I've had like randoms come up before, and then they have they say one of your guys' names, like oh, I'm boys with Mitch, or you know, when your family came up and you don't know who they are, and they're like, oh, I'm Mitch's so and so, and then you're just like, oh shit, nice to meet you. Guard goes down a little. Yeah, bit. guard goes yeah. down. You're like, okay, we have a, a really good friend in common. Yeah. Yeah, you, dude, you it, was a, it, it was a tough I was ally to good friend part. But I got I to gotta call Steve. I got to call Steve and figure out that situation because I'm not. And the thing is, the guy's a sports fan. He's a massive sports fan. He's a regular guy, allegedly. Yeah, they have that media company, right? I believe so. I forget what it's called. Yeah, I just went in there unprepared. You know, Victoria's four years. It sounds like you you said a good you said you said a good line. You were compliment of yeah, compliment of shook his hand, but it just took a crap. Respected it took, his yeah, crap. It took such a weird turn in such a fast way. There was really no way for me to get back out of it. Yeah, it was like hey, you yeah, gotta, I can see your head just probably gets in a blender. Yeah, and I was like fuck, I just gotta go. And I came back and they're like, you just missed the bus. It's fifteen more minutes. So I had to sit there and wait for another fucking bus to leave, dude. Get back at like one o'clock. Sad. Went to sleep. And fucking Taylor was on that weather app the whole night. Yeah, <laughs> at the party. <laughs> Bro, it was kind of like that. It's gonna be in the sixties next week. <laughs> it was kind of like that. Who uh, who else? So Bill Gates, Vince Vaughn. Bill Gates, Vince Vaughn were the only two that I really recognized. Kyle, uh, the guy that I was uh, initially going to meet. He's a cool guy. He'll be out here in August for like some sort of race, not NASCAR, but a different race. He's like big into cars and motorcycles and all that. So we had a good conversation. Good dudes. Was Will Smith there? Out there? Will Smith was not there. John Legend? I, if, dude, if they were there, I would tell you. I'm just trying to, jog, you know. Jog the old memory? Yeah, jog the memory a little bit. Yeah. But it was, it, was a, it was a cool experience to see. But it was very L.A. Elon Musk? Musk wasn't there. Musk was there like a night later. Oh. You see he was in Cabo? Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah, he was at a, a club doing the fucking Donald Trump <laughs> fucking dance move in Cabo. But yeah, dude, Cabo San Lucas. 
most beautiful place in the world. It was yeah, awesome. He had, he had some good photos. Yeah, the was pictures nice. you put on Twitter were. <laughs> Does his breakfast in the morning, sitting there. Oh, it's fucking, I love Cabo so much. I go back right now. So rate the trip. Rate the trip for um, us. Good group of guys that I was with for most of the time. Had a lot of fun with them. A lot of insight into a different world that I've never seen before. Obviously, the, the party was very cool, but um, very L.A., very standoffish people there. Obviously, the Vince Vaughn thing was just a nuclear disaster in my own head. I'd give it a 4.5. Mm. Sounds, sounds about right. Yeah. Sounds like the right rating. It is tough, man. Did you tell the boys about the whole Vince Vaughn? Like the crew that you were with? Were you guys like, yeah, I got to tell you this story? No, so what happened was the guy that I, I, I was with a, originally, he and I were leaving together, and I was like, I got to go fucking do this one thing real quick. So I walked away. The Vince Vaughn thing happened to me, and I turned and looked, and they were all kind of waiting for me. Like, you get it done? Did you meet your hero? And I was like, let's go home. <laughs> let's fucking go home, boys. It was tough. It was tough sliding out there. We're going to be all right. Yeah. We're always going to be all right. Always going to be all right. You still got the Vince Vaughn vibes. Just because you got big time don't mean you ain't got the Vince Vaughn I, I watched the dilemma last night. I thought, brother, it could have been us. Yeah. You're, been just, a... you're just looking for conversations. Like, yeah. man, what keeps him engaged? Yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what keeps him engaged? You're watching film on Vince yeah. Vaughn. Yeah. All right. So this is what he likes. Yeah. Oh. Doesn't like it when his friends get cheated on. Got that. All right. <laughs> Move on. 